Yo, what's going on people? It's Guns Blazing once again, and I got a very cheap deck to farm Yugi Moto level 30 with for you today. And uh, it's just a dinosaur deck, so you use Dinosaur Kingdom, so all of your monsters can deal with uh, Yugi's high defense monsters. And then you just fusion summon for your uh, Meteor B dragon at the end. I'm using Meteor B here instead of Master of Oz because I'm assuming more people have Meteor B. And uh, this deck actually uses, well at least in the main deck, no super rare and no ultra rare cards besides Ryoku and Polymerization, which you can get from the trader. They're not even from the packs. And an important card to note here is Breath of Light, which you get from farming Teya. And this makes it so that if he manages to summon his uh, Valkyrion, the 3500 attack uh, rock monster, then you can just destroy it with Breath of Light. And we also have Abyssal Designator here because he runs two Karibos, so you select Dark Fiend and he drops them. But I found that this is not actually necessary because you're going to be attacking with your monsters the entire time. And chances are he's going to drop both Karibos before uh, the final turn. So I'd keep one in there just as a backup, just in case he draws it on the last turn. You can replace the other one with, say, another monster or an enemy controller. Something like that. Okay, so this is a version that I use. It's obviously more expensive than the other one, but it's faster since it has Heart of the Underdog. And uh, it has Order to Charge instead of Breath of Light. So you can just Order to Charge his Valkyron if he, uh, if he summons it. Also, we're using Master of Oz instead of Meteor B. And Master of Oz is better than Meteor B because you don't have to pack Ryoku. Uh, Gift of the Martyr, Master Oz onto Piranha alone will get this guy to 5,000 attack, which is enough to get that 3,000 point bonus. Anyways, let me show you how these decks work, yeah. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward. You just summon your dinos and uh, just keep uh, ramming them into his monsters. Attack Reno, attack Reno. And he manages to get his Valkyrian out on turn 4, which is pretty busted, but that's why we got Breath of Light. Uh, in my experience, this doesn't happen often, but Breath of Light is there just as a backup. The reason I'm not attacking here is because I want my life points to be lower than his until the last turn. That's how you get the comeback victory bonus. So yeah, just keep attacking. Windstorm's there just in case he uses his Union attack. And then he tries to kill one of your monsters. It's also there for Valkyrian. And so this is uh, baiting out the Sphere of Bolas. I actually should have attacked with Kianchi here first, but it doesn't really matter in the long run. If you don't have Kianchi, you can use Jerry. Uh, I'd suggest anything that has at least 1750. Because it's uh, higher than all his other monsters. Attack, attack wise at least. Besides that huge monster. And the reason I'm actually not playing any more monsters here is because I don't want to stuff up my field because uh, Piranha has to take up one slot and the fusion monster has to take up another slot but you can also play two it's fine just you have to tribute uh, Meteor Dragon for one of them on the last turn okay so this one actually can't bust through Gamma but that's fine because he actually doesn't have any monsters that can attack through Kianchi There, there's his Union attack, Reno. I think we got Windstorm. And so this this monster actually has 2,000 attack, but it's only on your battle phase, so you don't really have to worry about it. As long as your monster has at least 1750. Okay, so I tribute summon from Meteor Dragoon here. Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing that until it's very late into the duel and uh, you've already gotten rid of his guardian statues and or you already got rid of his Valkyrion. Okay, and then there's his second Sphere Karibo. Just 
destroy. Keep the field clear. Continue to go inside. It's almost the end of the end of the farm. Okay, so my last two cars were actually Abyssal Designator. Um, again, you don't really need two uh, Abyssal Designators for this deck because he's gonna pop one. Uh, he's probably gonna pop one by the end of the duel or both of them. But uh, I'd keep at least one, just in case the last card in this deck is Fear Karibo. And uh, for Piranha Army, use Secret Pass first. Just get into the habit of it, because you know you don't want to tilt yourself by uh, using Ryoku or Gift of the Martyr first. So I go ahead and summon this big, beefy Dragon out here. Ryoku, and then Gift of the Martyr. And Gift of the Martyr actually uh, takes the base attack, it doesn't take the current attack, so it's going to be plus 3,500. And that's a clean 12,100 damage. And so, yeah, that's the end of the farm. Uh, replays don't show how much points you get, but this one actually got 10,000 uh, 10, points. It actually doesn't matter after 8,000 because you're maxed at 8 treasure drops, but whatever. Okay, so this is really easy. Just uh, take control of the board. You can pop one of your, or you can pop your Abyssal Designator right away. So I get the one from his hand, that's gonna help out actually. Otherwise he's gonna use it on us. And yeah, it's gonna be trouble. I actually don't know why I used Unamis instead of Crawl and Dragon there though. It's okay. And we got our own Spear of Hola. Let's go inside. The castle walls. That's a problem. Not a huge problem. Okay. So, board should be clear by the end of the next turn. Here we go. It also severely limits his chance to get his Valkyria now. Two monsters is, is enough. Uh, shouldn't really fill your field. It's not necessary at all. Alright. I actually shouldn't have used Abyssal though. I should use it like the, at the last possible moment. Usually. It'll get rid of that one in a... Uh, One in twenty chance that his Sphere Ebola is at the bottom of the deck, or uh, on the on the turn that you go for your kill. Now, let's hope we pop it though before that happens. And Heart of the Underdog is just here to speed things up for you. And another one. Okay. I don't really mind if I discard. There's a lot of discards though. Ooh, Rock Spirit. Spicy. I'm actually gonna go ahead and order to charge on that. I end my 
your goes. I drop. I set the <laughs> my turn. If you're only running one abyssal, I don't suggest that you uh you go in with abyssal until the last turn. Well, actually, this is a big koala version, so I can afford to have two monsters out. Can drop the windstorm. I end my right. turn. Let's do this. I draw. I set a card. Pick. I it's end my turn. turn. I draw a card. Yeah, so at this point, we can fuse. I draw a card. Uh, can't quite finish him off yet, though. So I'm just gonna summon Big Koala and attack directly. Now, just in case he has Sphere Ebola in his hand this turn. And then next turn is like a one in uh one in six chance, which is pretty bad actually. So no sphere of bola. Let's hope he doesn't drive. Again, that misplay at the start. Using a bis a designator right away. But uh looks like we're fine. So it was uh, very used to the, the one that had two abyssal designators. Go, super pass. You can actually swap out one order to charge for uh, another abyssal or another monster, whatever you feel, bro. Actually, I'm actually gonna probably run double abyssal, double order to charge just to be safe. For everything. And last but not least, this is the deck I used to farm level 40 Yugi Moto. I actually did not make this deck, I got it from another YouTuber, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description to his video. Uh, if you wanna see the full explanation, go check out his video, I think it deserves a view. Right, so it's pretty simple as well. Uh, I got really bad luck on the opening hand. Didn't draw an unhappy girl or a Raimei, and there's six of them, so. Usually you'll have either one in your starting hand, or a Crystal Seer, but at least I had Windstorm which allowed me to survive or uh, not take a, a buttload of damage from these two giant soldiers, and so I can live. And then the next turn I draw my unhappy girl. And once you draw her, you just start locking the field down by attacking into him. You won't take any battle damage because of Holy Guard. And... Yeah, you just keep doing that. I draw the second unhappy girl right here. Just doubling up the lockdown. Yeah. There's not much you can really do. It's not gonna attack into you. And uh, once you got your rear yoke fields, it makes it so that you can't order to charge into you either. I think this one was a fairly easy round. Uh, so, the reason Unhappy Girl is so important in this deck is because uh, this monster right here that he set, it's Guardian Sphinx, which is basically a huge Guardian statue. So if this card gets flipped summoned, uh, it returns all your monsters. But the thing about Unhappy Girl is it makes it so that even when it turns face down, it can't switch face up. As long as Unhappy Girl is on the field. So I just lock those down. Nothing much, really. I just waiting until I get to zero cards. And here I decide to attack into the thing because Holy Guard makes it so I don't get damaged anyways and I thin my deck by one unhappy girl, making it a bit faster. Alright, 
So I pick up a Crystal Seer. I'm going to use that to speed up the farm as well. At this point I can discard uh, cards I don't need. And I decided to tribute summon Big Koala because everything is locked down anyways. And I got Rear Yoku Fields to uh, prevent the order to charge and this actually uh, makes it so that he pops his Ebola. And that means I don't have to use Abyssal Designator on the Sphere Ebola after that. Uh, so as you can see I just discarded it. It's fine. And only one card left in the deck so I'm about to go inside. Piranha, secret pass first as always. You know the deal. Gotta get into the good habits. And then, go ahead and fuse. Gift of the Martyr, the boy. Onto the Piranha army. And just get inside those, those Yugimoto jeans. Those preteen jeans, Kappa. Don't actually do that, you're gonna go to jail. And uh, since replays don't show the actual score and the, the rewards, I took a screenshot while I was dueling it uh, on my phone, so get to see that right there. And yeah, that's it.